really do feel this is about you, Capricorn. So first, first energies I see is forgiving and learning and unrequited love. And I think this is of, of healing of the past, of all these energies you probably contributed to and just kind of gave your energy. And you're kind of like learning and understanding. You've taken so much um, time for you that it's just something, there isn't an, an, um, an acceptance of how we participated. There's an acceptance of, you know what, this wasn't my person. Also unrequited love. I'm really feeling this energy of um, really like, ugh, you know, like whatever. <laughs> I, I I was thinking the wrong thing. This, these people were not for me. And this is where you have to keep an open mind and religious factor. This is the reinvention card for me, death energy. And um, again, a lot of healing is what I'm saying. Keep an open mind that all this work you've done for you is leading you to a transition for you right true love yeah because you're pre you're your first true love and then you're preparing yourself to have someone meet you at that level as well um but there's a lot of obviously needing to be released of the past energy and being more present and just understanding again like I just feel this understanding from you like okay yeah you know you're able to reason with your own thoughts this time versus um speak negative have any negative self-talk about situations or hang yourself over situations enough time has passed and i also feel you guys just have had lots of rewards from the universe coming up that have kind of replaced a lot of that pain and rewarded you with a lot of why things happened the way they did so Let's just get into your read with the main energies. What else do we have for Capricorns? In love and for love. I oh my god, I this came this came out in the meditation as well. So I'm not even surprised, you guys. Eight of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. Positive movement forward and patience planning. Because you're all about your pentacles. All I need is the nine of pentacles to show up here again. Um, all right, spirit, what are we doing? Okay. So stand your ground, right? Which is the seven of wands. We've got two of wands energy, the waiting game, two of cups, right? Spiritual union, more waiting, two, positive, more pentacles too, two of pentacles, your movement choices, decisions. And then you got Leo energy here with the power, the strength. And I feel like this is, you've just focused so much on you that there's a lot of, there's a lot of balance and there's also going to, you're going to see a wider choice here. Um, I'm also seeing two, two, two. So two, two, two means get prepared. That's union, right? That's also duality, understanding why. This is why we got these energies of like, now you know why things happen the way they did. The worth the waiting game here with the two of wands, the things, your rewards, the things that you had to, you had to accomplish things first, these solid pentacles first, um, and be patient and plan, right? Before, you know, spirit really blessed you. You also got seven, seven in the journey. That's religious factors. That's the spiritual inner union with self, like the journey to yourself. So let's get more on this positive movement forward here for Capricorns. Ace of Cups. I mean, journey to self-love, you know, there will be positive movement. And once you're in this place of loving where you're at with how hard you work, like you appreciate where you're at. And again, I'm feeling an energy of gratitude here. It's exactly when people are going to meet you there. A few more Seven of Pentacles here. Why the patience and planning? So we all know this. <laughs> you got two cards of patience. Um, you. This was your commitment to yourself. Who wants patience and planning? Why the seven of pentacles? You know, death energy is never easy. There goes that ace of wands. Wow, it was in the bottom when I shuffled injustice. Yep, you're getting your karma. Like you've did, you've done a good deed, Capricorn. And when you heal and you're willing to accept. Um, where things are and yet still liven your energy, liven, um, awaken your frequency 
and still be grateful, right? That's why I'm saying this comes, this all this comes from gratitude is why justice and karma and ace of wands, your soul awakens. And you get the beginning to a lot of things. To me, this ace of wands represents a lot of the hard things you've worked hard for. Stand your ground, seven of wands. Um, relationship, it's, I really, for a while I've been feeling all aspects, your two of cups here, all aspects of your life are really, really resolving themselves. And it's just this commitment you've had of bringing balance into your life. Give me more stands your ground. Yeah, your happiness, nine of cups. You're... <laughs> I swear to God, I just need the nine of pentacles because you got the nine of cups. You guys been in the nines and the nine is the hermit, the self. When we take care and nurture ourselves and 222 is we just had the 222 so all these blessings the portal was open so if you guys did rituals um you guys did you know anything that what's going to help you really get into this energy and body it embody it and bring about the change you want the things you want things you wish for right wow two of cups a lot of you, it's a relationship. Some of you, this is a work connection. Some of you, there's just a lot of opportunities that has to do with new soul contracts. Because again, there's a lot about your 3D. So give me more of this waiting game. All right, I'm not taking all of these, spirit, but I'll take this guy. Hierophant. So commitment, true commitment. You guys could be dealing, you guys could have met a Taurus. Um, what else we've got so far? And then Leo, of course, and Libra. But, you know, there could be a commitment here. To me, this represents the waiting game on commitment. We do have Nine of Swords. So, you know, the love department, you know, my cappies, you know, knowing that the, you've had to wait for what's worth it in terms of this true love, of the love department, of what you you really want, you know, marriage, something long lasting. I'm feeling with this wedding and true love here, something long lasting. And bottom of that is calling in your soulmate. So there's, there's a manifestation. This waiting game is a manifestation of this new love, um, that you're about that. You're also going to be rewarded due to this karma because it's not like I'm saying, it's not just one thing here. This is a love read, and obviously Spirit is also talking about love here. So let's get from, oh God, wow, Spirit is speaking fast. <laughs> determined, determined. And we got 10 of Pentacles. Talk about determination here, Capricorn. Um, you guys could be meeting a Cancer. But lots of determination of things of progression moving forward. Give me more of this Two of Cups. This is full bowl commitment. So a lot of you are meeting someone or either with a Leo, um, a Taurus, a Libra. But this is this is like really positive. Yeah, two of swords, three of wands, ace of swords. So after a period of not knowing, maybe uncertainty with your person, um, I feel a lot of you, if you haven't met this person, this is what's coming ahead. Because this, this I mean, there is new. Ace of Cups is here as positive movement forward. Eight of Pentacles, what you did for you is going to reward you this love. I mean, you've got three aces on the table, Capricorn. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. We're just missing the Ace of Pentacles. But why, why do we care so much? Because we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this represents a lot of planning. Three of Wands, which there's a lot about you waiting. Two of Wands, progression, and it will come in. So the reward is here after a triumph. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands are triumphs is even with what you couldn't see, right? We don't know what's coming. And so either way, know that it's going to be great. It's going to be rewarding. You're not going to have to burden yourself. Look at that, the sun in the bottom. You're going to be happy. Um, you're going to have choices. Give me more of the positive choices. Um, movement choices and decisions. One of the two of pentacles. You know, some of you have you definitely got in a transition of all sorts in your life. New opportunities, job, money looks great, Capricorn. It's so much, you're, you're looking extremely stable here. I knew it. Ah, uh, Capricorn, there you go. Nine of Pentacles. I swear to God, I'm going to call you my Nine of Pentacles from here on. But Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, this is, this is because of 
you knowing what your options are, knowing that you can have options, knowing your worth, um, not feeling limited, going for what you want. This is a pure transformation. A seven of wands represents, again, clarified by the nine of cups, going for what makes you happy, owning it, you know, like, again, being in a state of gratitude, having the courage with the strength card, and more the strength card, embodying this, like, um, this confidence that's almost, um, like, like, untouchable, that's what I'm trying to say, my Capricorns, let's see, exactly, two of pentacles, again, knowing your options, your emotions are balanced. We received this in your general read where you're emotionally balanced with the queen of pentacles, stable. Um, some of you, again, could be meeting, meeting another earth sign because you have a lot of earthly um, cards here. So you could find someone. Um, some of you may have to, some of you, this is a waiting period even with your person. Um and this is why Spirit is saying, keep an open mind about your soulmate and really, really open yourself up in terms of your emotions. You're really in this stable place where you're going to get what you deserve. I mean, your karma is here and good karma. I feel such great reward with this justice card. Do I mind this justice? Yeah, look at that page of pentacles. And it's after carrying so much burdens, 10 of wands, I mean, yeah, 10 of wands. There's a huge reward, no more this justice. Yeah, after a period, and there goes that ace of wands again. So clearly spirit is clarifying a waiting period with this hanged man, eight of swords, right? We didn't know what was coming, two of cups is here, and, and, and the knight of swords, unexpected relationship. So again, relationships, soul contracts. I feel a lot of soul contracts um, happening here. And I don't feel it in just relationship, you guys. I feel it like when it comes to your bag, like things that you're going to need, new job. Um, there's going to be lots of options here for you. So let's see what the blockage is here. What are the blockages for our Capricorns? You know, you're undergoing a really big transformation here that is taking you way beyond where you've been, you know, and it has everything to do, Capricorn, with where your energy is. And this is why I've been saying so much for you guys. Keep your high vibe. There is something really big for you between 2022 um, and 2024. So let's see, just stay the course. If you stay the course and you stay optimistic and you, you know and you feel blessed and you feel this gratitude, it's going to work out for you, even with the pitfalls, even with the heartache, even with all that stuff. Because at this point, maintaining this energy, you transmute that even more quicker and it won't take you down for, for a long period. You know, you'll bounce right back up. So what are the blockages here for Capricorn? codependent addiction is holding you back and affirm here we go take back your power with positive self-talk so now we know right this is what i'm saying i feel this keep an open mind it has to do with how we spoke to ourselves and this is how you're taking back your power codependent i feel like um there was an energy of giving too much of yourself right so all these unrequited love were codependent energies um there was like I feel with all this nurturing energy that's popping out here, I think you had people around you that were extremely codependent on you. And this is where some of these connections were built on. And it could be very minor. It doesn't have to be so severe, but it just created some toxic, right? And you had to forgive and learn. You had to like really allow yourself to open up and, and like, you know, be like, yeah, it's one of these energies where you're just like, how did I freaking do that to myself? But you're no longer in that space, right? Because you're taking back your power with positive self-talk. This is so positive. This whole thing has been positive for some time. Um, my Capricorns and 
Let's pull some souls journey because I feel like it goes with this read. What are some transitions in Capricorn soul? What guidance can we get Capricorn for their soul evolution? Yep, divine timing. I love it. All is happening in universal time. When spirit knows you have done the work and are ready, I cannot tell you that's the justice. Like, you've done the work. When spirit knows you have done the work and are ready. And then here we have bottom of the depth. Yep, open to receive. It has been said that clarity comes when the mind is quiet. Let thoughts flow through you, then release them. So you're being open to receive, which is all these pentacles and, of course, manifestation, right? Practice the law of attraction to attract what you want into your life. What we think is what we create in our physical reality through thought, meditation, and daily affirmations. And I feel that's the work being done. But all in time. Okay, spirit. Yep. Here we go again with forgiveness, right? The time has come to forgive others and finally forgive yourself. We are all human and we all make mistakes. Being able to forgive will lead you to unconditional love, compassion, and ultimate happiness. And this is this energy that I'm seeing, Capricorn, where you're just going to, it's, you know, embodying. And if you're not there yet, it's okay, right? We're, we are working through it. We're, we're bettering ourselves. But... The final straw here is really to um, look at past energies where we, you know, participated and probably, you know, hit ourselves over the head for participating. But we have to forgive ourselves, you know, and, and show ourselves compassion for the mind frame we were at at that point in time, you know, and then also pat ourselves on the back for how far we've come. All right, so Moonlight. I bathe in Moonlight and she whispers that everything will be okay. At this very moment, I'm right where I need to be. Capricorn, you're right where you need to be, okay? So um, six is balance, right? You know, six is balance. You're opening up and then love. Yes, you are. You are worthy of love and it will find you. Give the love you would like to receive. And we're back to knowing that you're receiving, right? Open and receive divine timing. So this is about gratitude, this love, right? You are worthy of love and it will find you. Give the love you would like to receive. Um, that energy comes from gratitude because now when we're in gratitude, we're more in this giving energy with nothing, with, with not needing anything in return. And just being fully grateful for what we currently have and where we currently are and energetically appreciating just even the energy of how we feel because there's, there's something about that state of mind that gives so much comfort and clarity and movement and progress. And again, Capricorn, pat yourselves on the back for it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I love you, Capricorns. Um, please like, share, subscribe.